Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I have a really good video in store for you today. I have more people who have been interested in the YouTube advertising, so it gave me the idea to go ahead and create a real thorough training video to go over YouTube advertising, YouTube in general. This way you can get some ideas how you can use the platform, whether it's for this program or anything else that you're involved with. So with that being said, let's get started. After I complete this video, I'm going to create timestamps and put them into the description below and the comment section so that you can skip to different parts of the video that you might be interested in because I'm expecting this to be longer than 20 minutes. So let's get started. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is like I said, there's more people now interested in the YouTube advertising. So I kind of wanted to put a message for people who really want to watch this information, even if it's just five or 10 people who are subscribed to the channel or who happen to catch this video. So the way I want to start off is saying that as you can see, most of you who are following the storyline know that I'm in a program called Mail Money Secrets. And you know that the, the Mail Money Secrets is based on a book that we sell as the primary product for $100, right? That's the initial sale that you make. And you also have the op option to upgrade to $1,000 or higher level of products where you can earn higher commissions. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this today is because I saw an email that I got from one of the companies that I'm signed up to on their subscription list. And the email came in and this is what the headline of the email said. It said, how a book generated $20,000 cash to me in just six days. So normally when you see stuff like this, it might get your attention, you might open it up. But for a lot of people, they just delete it or skip it, won't even, um, won't even pay any mind to it. So Lon Lindsay just so happens to be my sponsor in Mail Money Secrets. So. I'm not going to tell anything in this video that he wouldn't want me to say. I'm basically just going to tell you the truth. And then I'm going to tell you how we're going to be able to follow his lead and do things in a different fashion because there's more than one way for you to make money. Uh, you can make money online and you can make money offline. So we're going to talk about that. So let me go ahead and open up the website. So this is basically like a safe list. So he just ran an ad an hour ago, 1142 a.m. And it says, how a book generated $20,000 cash to me in just six days. Hi, Ken. I want to show you how a book named Mail Money Secrets generated me $20,000 cash in just six days with it continuing to come in. Click here, Lana Lindsay. All right. So let's do this. Let's go look at the website that pops up when you click that link. So it takes you to this lead capture page here where you have this picture of a guy who looks like he's happy. It says, why am I leaping for joy? And the headline says here, a book generated $20,000 cash for me in just six days. You've got to see how it can generate cash for you as well. Big cash. Now this right here might get some people to put their name and email address. Some people will. A lot of people will put in a fake name, a fake email address, just to see what's on the other side, just so they can see whether it seems like something they want to continue to look further into. Um, but a lot of people won't even get that far. So this is actually a true story, $20,000 in six days. However, as you know, there has to be some sort of catch, right? So I'm gonna go over that in this video and then we're gonna talk about what we can learn from this situation and how we can implement it on our own, all right? So let me close this up and let me go to YouTube here and we'll, we'll start talking about this in a second, but for now, let me just go back to my page. All right, so if you go here, you'll see in the video I did two weeks ago, You'll see that the thumbnail on review video part 10, it says mail money secrets, $1,300 update. Now the $1,300 is basically one sale at the thousand dollar level, $1,000 commission. And then you have three sales at the hundred dollar commission. Those combined equal $1,300, which is where the thumbnail came from that I used to make this video. All right. That's the story behind that $1,300 number from the thumbnail, a thousand dollar sale and three sales at a hundred dollars. So if I can make a thousand dollar sale one time, I can probably make a thousand dollar sale a second time or a third time if I just repeat whatever it is that I did initially to get that thousand dollar sale, right? That just is obvious. It makes sense. So that's the work that I'm putting in behind the scenes. And like I said, in this video, this is what we're going to get to how we're going to do this with YouTube ads. But, but first I want to explain the story on how my sponsor did that. This way it can make sense so that when you know that you have people out here making these type of claims and headlines saying that they made $20,000 in six days. You would know how they did it. And then you can kind of like figure out how you can try to copy and do the exact same thing. Okay. But I'm mostly want to tell you the truth behind that story. So basically $20,000 in six days. I don't know specifically exactly what his, his numbers are, because as you can remember, we have 
the thousand dollar level, three thousand, five thousand, seven thousand, and nine thousand. So there's any way that he could have got a combination of sales from people that would have totaled twenty thousand dollars in six days. So he could got he could have got two nine thousand dollar sales and two one thousand dollar sales, and that right there would equal twenty thousand. So I don't know what. But in our case, let's just say talking from the thousand dollar level, if you're someone who was going to do mail money secrets at the thousand dollar level, you would need to make 20 sales to make twenty thousand dollars. Right. It's pretty simple. Now, there's two different ways to get that kind of traffic. You can get it through mailing out postcards and and any type of mail order advertising or you can do it through YouTube. So before I get ahead of myself, let me just go back two seconds here and explain the way that my sponsor made twenty thousand dollars in six days so that. If any of you are wondering if this is a true story, I'm going to explain to you how simple the explanation is, how he was able to do that. So my sponsor has been in this industry for a good amount of time. I don't know how many years. That's why I have to use that phrase. He might have been in mail order, direct mail sales for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. I don't know the number, but let's just say he's been in it for a very long time, longer than I have. Okay. So in recent years, let's say he's very committed to building his list. He has his own warm market of people that know him, people that he's done business with, these sort of things, or people that have purchased things from him before. So when he got involved with Mail Money Secrets, or should I say when Mail Money Secrets launched a couple of months ago, the people who were in his network were sent out some type of a notification to let them know that there was a new program called Mail Money Secrets that had different levels that you can participate in. And he basically had a bunch of those people who were in his warm market decide all at the same time that they wanted to go ahead and do some type of an upgrade and join the program underneath him and send him a commission to purchase some products from him, right? So within six days, he made $20,000 because he already had an existing group of people that were familiar with him or possibly even working with him or, or customers that have bought from him before. And therefore, they already knew that if he's recommending something to them, it, it might be good, right? They may know that he has good judgment and they trust him. More importantly, they trust him. That's what it comes down to, right? So he has a warm market of people who trust him. So within six days, he made $20,000 from his warm market. And he may have had some sales that came from people that he didn't know as well. But let's just say it's safe to say that at the very least, he, he sent out a message to people in his warm market and he made $20,000 in six days. Now, I'm sure there may be a combination of online, offline that allowed him to do that. But either way, it was the warm market. So moving on to today so how can we how can we duplicate what my sponsor did now we may not necessarily want to do twenty thousand dollars in six days most of you would be happy to do twenty thousand dollars in six months you know from a business like this especially if you're just working at part-time but how can we use um how can we use this program to get some type of results similar to what he did so there's two different ways to do that right you would have to first focus on introducing people to mail money secrets and the way we do that is by promoting the book. As you know, that's the way we get people into the system is by selling the Mail Money Secrets book for $100. And you do that by inter um, by inviting people through either a postcard or a flyer that you mail out to a list of people who are interested and make money from home type of opportunities. Now, so we're going to talk about the two different ways. We're going to talk about direct mail and then I'm going to make a comparison to online and then we're going to get into the YouTube marketing and YouTube ads. So the traditional way that this program is set up is for you to uh, get your flyers, get your postcards. In this case, you guys, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I spoke about a self mailer flyer that I created for this. And the self mailer flyer has two sides. On one side, it has a message. And on the other side, it has the stamp that goes up here. And I'm covering with my fingers the mailing label of the person. I'm sorry, the stamp is over here. The mailing label of the person who you're sending it to, right? And when they receive it, I'm going to open this for you because this is not going out to this person anymore. So let me open this and show you. So when they receive it, they basically just go on the sides here and they just cut open. They don't even have to use a knife, but I'm going to use a knife. And they just cut open the little piece of tape that I have here that seals this closed, right? So that this can make it through its way in the mail to its final destination. And then they open up my flyer. And this is what they have. They have my sales flyer. For mail money secrets this is how i've been promoting it this is one of the ways that i've been using to promote it right cover up the name and you can see on the other side this is a self mailer that has a message on on two sides at this point but the main message is the flyer on the inside but the message on the outside that we have here is basically just you know just to get the person to go ahead and open it instead of throwing it in the trash 
okay so you basically can send out flyers to people now the reason why I'm getting into this is because I want to talk about the costs involved because this is how I'm going to make the nice transition into YouTube marketing and the reason why YouTube marketing is powerful in comparison to direct mail especially considering using the mail money secrets program as an example so with direct mail we're going to do some short quick easy numbers here if you were to send out a thousand of those flyers the traditional way which is just the standard way of doing things you would basically go to the post office and you would order a thousand stamps I believe as of today July 13th the price for a stamp is 66 cents correct so 66 cents per stamp if you were to order a thousand stamps it's gonna cost you six hundred sixty dollars I don't know if there's any tax in the post office I don't think there is for these type of purchases even though there should be um, because from what I understand they're not supposed to be a government owned business entity but anyway we're talking at about six hundred sixty dollars for a thousand stamps now for the paper paper is inexpensive to get a thousand pieces of paper if I can think correctly let's say it costs about fifteen dollars for five hundred pieces of paper so it probably costs about thirty dollars for uh, two packs of paper which will be a thousand pieces and there that brings up your total to about seven hundred dollars and then the next thing you have is a mailing list now mailing lists vary in prices let's say a mailing list averaged they usually cost about a hundred dollars for a mailing list of a thousand people that's for an inexpensive list okay but this is just common prices so now you go from six 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 uh, six hundred sixty to seven hundred to eight hundred dollars right so you're at about eight hundred dollars here and at this point the only thing left to do is to print the flyers so if you don't have a printer you're going to have to pay somebody else to print the flyers for you so let's just say I'm not exactly sure but I believe as a rough estimate it will cost you about two hundred dollars to have a thousand flyers printed for you now if that's the case then you won't need the paper you can eliminate that thirty dollars I mentioned but you're also going to add two hundred so if you have six hundred sixty plus the um, two hundred dollars for a thousand flyers you're looking at eight hundred sixty dollars plus a hundred dollars for names that's nine hundred sixty dollars let's just round it up and say a thousand dollars and then one last thing I forgot uh, generally speaking you're gonna wanna mail them in an envelope so the envelopes that I use cost a hundred dollars for one thousand so either way we're looking at a thousand dollars to mail a thousand flyers which is basically about one dollar each and it's mostly due to the fact that the stamp on each one costs sixty six cents per stamp right that's already halfway over halfway to a dollar now the point where I'm getting at here is that not everyone can afford to send a thousand flyers at once because of those expenses so basically you can say every hundred you spend is going to cost you a hundred dollars and if you've ever been in mail order before you probably know that it's a numbers game and it's a numbers game in all types of sales but especially in mailing things out considering you have to pay per piece it's a numbers game so if you mail out 50 pieces a week you have only 50 chances of making the sale so most people generally or should I say genuinely will want to send out as many pieces as possible but yet people don't quite have that type of a budget where you can send out you know your ideal amount of flyers every week which could be let's just say like a thousand flyers a week right most people do not have a four thousand dollar advertising budget per month so with that being case with that being the case let's look at some of the other alternatives and that's where I'm going to go into the next phase of this video which is looking at YouTube marketing and the reason why we're making this video is because this is basically like a small introduction to YouTube marketing not in, not in terms of you making videos and making a channel like mine but using YouTube as a way to um, invest your money that normally would go into direct mail for all those different expenses I just mentioned and uh, deciding to use that money to uh, put it into YouTube as a platform to help you promote your business right so let's go into that next and with that being said let's switch topics real quickly and talk about why YouTube is a place that you can invest your advertising budget instead of doing direct mail right because it's your choice you can advertise your program anywhere that you can find people who might be interested in purchasing your products so we know that direct mail is one the program is based on mailing the postcard but now let's talk about YouTube and where the direction I'm taking things is going within the next couple of weeks all right so I'm gonna tell the whole story here so this video is is gonna be about 30 minutes long if not longer I'll, I'll try to keep it around 30 or 30 or 40 minutes so YouTube is one of my favorite websites the story with YouTube is that when I first got my computer um, I was working a full-time job and I believe I got injured on the job 
after I got injured on the job, I was pretty much through with it. And I had some money saved up. I never had my, I never had a computer at that time. So I decided what I was going to do was take some of the money that I had saved and invest in a brand new computer and a printer. Right. Those are the two basic things that everyone has. I, I did get training on how to use a computer when I was in school back in the 80s. So uh, I had the basic knowledge and how to use a computer. And um, I, but I had never used a modern computer. Right. I just used like a Commodore 64, you know, the, those old school computers that you had in uh, computer class in school in the 80s. So anyway, I got my computer and when I had it set up, I had ordered my Internet. So the first day I plugged everything in, got online. And um, now I'm pretty sure I've been online and other computers, but this is my first time being online at home. All right. And mind you, I'm in a clear headspace. I no longer have a job. I basically just have a certain amount of money saved and a computer as my, uh, you know, my new tool and my new method to give me the freedom to to find other opportunities to make money without having to leave my house. So when I was on the computer, you know, I didn't know any websites at this time. I can tell you that this was in the year 2008, I believe. And the reason why I remember that is because I know that this was the first time I got on YouTube. And I remember the story finding out later that YouTube started in 2005. So I know that the website was about three years old at the time that I found out about YouTube. So basically, you know how you can get like free movies online and stuff like that. So I was on one of these websites that had like free movie sites and all these things. And they were giving you like all these recommendations on different websites where you can find different types of content and YouTube.com was one of the thumbnails on that website. And I don't know what it said about what you can do, but um, I really don't think I've even heard of YouTube at this point because I was not really doing online stuff. This is back in a time where people weren't using smartphones and I didn't even have a smartphone. I had a Nextel at that time. So I never heard about YouTube. So I clicked on this YouTube thing and I started looking at it. And it was one of the first websites that I heard about that I found out about that I began learning information and basically just spending my time. So as you can see here, this is where I'm going to transition to a couple of things and talking about YouTube. Now that you see what happened and how I how I learned about YouTube, this is how I started getting into it. So now fast forward to today and the way that I use YouTube now. Right. And then I'll tell the story about how I first found out about YouTube back then. So the way I use YouTube now is two two ways. One is I use it for my own personal business as a business partner of YouTube. Uh, let's just go back to the previous tab here. So as you guys already probably know, in the top of the toolbar here, you see the YouTube address is youtube.com forward slash at Kendall Donchin coaching slash videos, right? That's my YouTube page, right? Where you're going to be watching this video on where you see all my other videos on. So you can kind of consider me a YouTube partner. And it's because it's YouTube's website. It's their platform. They handle all the technical side, all of the expenses and everything involved. They're responsible for bringing all the traffic and visitors. But I decided to partner up with them. And, you know, of course, I have an agreement. I have to go by the, the guidelines and the community guidelines and the rules to use the platform. But they let me post videos and talk about whatever it is I want to talk about, show whatever whatever it is I want to show on video that's that's allowed. And in this case, I'm able to promote different opportunities, programs, products, services, you know, anything that I can put on a video I can put here on YouTube. And the only thing that it costs me is the time and the tools that I need to create YouTube videos, meaning I need a computer, I need my internet connection, and I need a camera in most cases, right? And then other than that, I basically just need to have something to talk about and hopefully something that's of interest to people. So that was how I found out about YouTube, right? So I came into YouTube and um, I looked up back in those days how to make money online, and that's, that's how it all got started with me. So the other way that I use YouTube today is to do research and try to learn how to do things that I would like to learn how to do. And I'm going to give a real life example because this is kind of fun to me to show how YouTube is really such a great place for us. Um, many of you can probably relate to what I'm about to say here. Anyway, um, I'm a really big car guy in a sense where cars have been a part of my life since I was a little kid. So at this point, there's many times that I've used YouTube to search how to fix a problem that I've had with a car in the past. Because obviously some things you can easily just take to your mechanic and have them fix it. But you also have some things that are not a rush that you can look up on YouTube and try to find some information on how to fix a certain problem that you might be having with your car. So one of the cars that we've had is a 2007 Dodge Nitro. And it got to the point where uh, the oil light came on the car, right? When you're driving the car, the light comes on that says oil, check the oil. So it was 
uh, something that was kind of scary because obviously if you have a problem with the oil in your engine, you're putting your car at risk potentially of damaging the engine. So I wanted to find out what this problem was. And un uh, unfortunately, you can't just plug a computer into the car and find out what the problem is when that happens. So I said, let me go ahead and look on YouTube and find out if anyone else has had the same problem with my car so I can get some kind of idea what might be the cause of this problem and what usually is the solution that a lot of people have had to this issue. So I go to YouTube and I'll type in something like coolant sensor, Jeep Liberty 3.7, 2007. These are different keywords that I know are relevant to the engine that my car has, right? So what happens is, you know, you'll get these results here and you'll see the titles of the videos, you'll see the thumbnails, and you might have to sort through several different videos before you find one that really, really lands on exactly what it is you're looking for. But to make a long story short, I was able to find out that it was the, the oil sensor, the oil pressure sensor in my engine that finally went bad. So I said, okay, this is great. So I watched a video where the person showed you how to find and how to locate the, the sensor, what tools you need to remove it and how to go about the process, right? So basically the, the, the thing about YouTube is I use YouTube to make money, right? In my regular, my business, in my business videos. And I also use YouTube to save money. Now, saving money, making money is kind of like one and the same, right? Because if I save myself $500 by doing a repair myself that I learned how to do from YouTube, I just saved $500 from watching YouTube, right? And, and having YouTube, having the, the access to YouTube. Because let's just say if I didn't have that, my only other option probably would be to take my car to a mechanic and pay $500 for somebody to do this job or take it to the dealer pay them $500 to have them do this job, right? Because that's, it's an expensive job. Um, it wasn't a major job, but that's how much it costs when you go to mechanic, okay? So I, so I save money on YouTube by looking up information to find out how to do things. So I wanted to learn how to make money online when I first found YouTube. So I went in and I typed in how to make money online. And one of the first things I learned was that on YouTube, you can make videos, you can uh, share, links like as you can see right here on this one um advertisement at the top this is actually an ad and um there's a link right here to a website so basically a perfect example if i need an oil uh sensor switch right an oil pressure sensor there's actually an ad right here for 2007 jeep liberty coolant temperature sensor it's an ad right because we're going to talk about ads in this video so i wasn't expecting that but it's right here so it makes this even easier for me to plug this right into the story so you can already see this is an advertisement. Now, um, this is not a video. In many cases, when you see um, when you see things come up like this, it's actually a video. In this case, it's actually an ad that when I click on it, it's gonna take me to this website right here, shop.advancedautoparts.com. So uh, YouTube ads, right? That's where we're going to in this video. So this right here actually wasn't planned, but as you can see right now, this is a perfect example of how YouTube ads are being used by different businesses in order to find people who are looking for certain products or services that these companies um, have for sale. Okay, let me refresh this page real quick and see what I get as far as that ad. Let me see if that same ad is there when I refresh. All right, so now that I've refreshed the page here, you see that what I'm looking for is a coolant sensor for Jeep Liberty 3.7 2007. And whereas in before I refreshed the screen, remember there was just this one ad here for advanced auto parts. Well, now that I've refreshed the screen, that ad is still there, but we also have a new ad from amazon.com shop deals for a coolant temperature sensor. And so basically the point is, you can see that advanced auto parts is using YouTube as a location to promote their business. And you can also see that amazon.com is also using ads on YouTube to promote their business. And the great example that I wasn't expecting to put in this video is that this is the goal of making this video is this is like an introduction to YouTube ads so that people who don't realize it are going to know by the end of this video that you can use YouTube not only to make videos for free, right? Because let's go back over here to the other tab once again. Every video I have here is a free video. And we're going to talk about that. Matter of fact, we'll, we'll talk about that next. These are videos that I put on YouTube that doesn't cost me any money. YouTube does not charge me to put these videos up here. As a matter of fact, YouTube encourages me to put these videos here because YouTube is basically a content based website. And so they need people like us to create content so that when we upload them to YouTube, 
YouTube can supply these types of videos to the people that are seeking the type of information that's in the videos that you make. So going back to this coolant sensor issue. So the thing that people need to realize is that you can use YouTube ads even if you're an independent business owner or affiliate marketer. You don't have to be a major company like Amazon. You don't have to be a major company like Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, but this is an indication to let you know that these advertisements work and they generate income. If they didn't generate income, why would Advanced Auto Parts be advertising here? Why would Amazon.com be advertising on YouTube? Advanced Auto Parts is already a very popular business. I mean, you know, you can drive down the street in most places and you can find an advanced auto parts. It's a major operation. And the same thing with Amazon. Everyone knows about Amazon. Amazon is like the biggest commerce website there is online. So why is Amazon advertising their website on YouTube? Well, the answer to that is pretty clear. There's additional traffic on different websites across the internet. And so instead of just relying on the traffic that naturally comes to Amazon every day, they still put a portion of their money to promote and advertise on other platforms that they can bring targeted traffic, meaning people that are interested in looking in specific items. They want to get people who are looking for those things to find out about their website so that they can come visit the website, find the products that they're looking for and make a purchase. Okay. So we're going to talk about how we can use this to our advantage as regular individual people working at home. Like, like, you know, you're not a major company like Amazon. You're not a major company like advanced auto parts, but you have every right and every opportunity to put advertisements on YouTube the same way that these companies do. So with that being said, let's move into transitioning into the two different parts of using YouTube. So let me go to my other page here, which I wanted to show you how I have this set up here. And I wanted to take you to the back of my YouTube channel. So let me go ahead. Let me move this up to the other part of the screen here. And then I want to show you about um, the two different ways to get traffic to your website from YouTube. And I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning of Mail Money Secrets so that we can stick to the theme of this video. So as you can see, let's see here. I'm going to read this to you in case you can't see it. But on May 18th, 2023, the first video that I uploaded to YouTube about Mail Money Secrets was on May 18th. All right. I'm not going to talk about how many views I have in some of these videos, but I will tell you some of them. So every single video that I've, uh, I've put on YouTube since May 18th has been a video about Mail Money Secrets. And you can see that through all of the thumbnails for these videos. Um, as a matter of fact, you can see that part two, right? Uh, the second part to my review was right here on May 20th. And uh, we've just been doing a different part every day. I think we're up to like part 13. The video you're watching right now is probably going to be like part 14. So let's look at this from a business perspective, why I'm using YouTube to create videos to talk about mail money secrets. Okay, first of all, people are looking for ways to make money online. And a lot of people who are looking for that type of information come to YouTube because they get a lot of great ideas, right? Just like I was giving an example a few minutes ago, I use YouTube to learn things about how I can save money and how I can do things myself. And so the same way that people like me look those types of things up, they also look for opportunities to make money, right? We probably all know this. If you're here watching this video, you know this to be a fact. I'm sure you've done this already in the past. So this is what it looks like for somebody like me, who's a very small YouTuber. I have just over a thousand subscribers on this YouTube channel. So I posted this video. Let's start with this video. The full tour video, nine minutes long, was posted on May 20th. All right, so May 20th, June 20th, July 20th, we're almost we're almost two months in and in two months I have received 158 views of this video so far. So that's about 80 videos per month. Now, if you go to the next video, I have 135 views, 143, 181, 123, 131, uh, 664, 192, 240, 153, 157, 19, 116, 89, 125, and the most recent video from July 11th, a couple of days ago, has already reached 56 views. All right, so the point is that with these videos, as you can see, I'm not getting 500 views on a video. I'm not getting 1,000 views on a video. I'm not getting 5,000, 10,000, a million views on a video. You understand, right? So I'm limited in how many views I get on my videos for a couple of different reasons. 
One reason is there's only so many people that are actually looking up the name Mail Money Secrets. In order for people to find my video, generally speaking, there's two ways they find my video. Either they go to YouTube and they search in Mail Money Secrets in the search bar, or YouTube recommends my video on the homepage. Now, some of you who are going to see this video, it's quite possible you're going to find this video on your homepage. More than likely, people watching this video are people who are already subscribed to my channel, especially since this video is going to be so long. The only people who are going to watch this do are people who are kind of like really on board and truly, uh, really trying to learn these things that I'm going to be discussing in this video. But either way, those are the two different ways. Either somebody's looking for Mail Money Secrets or YouTube helps sharing it. Now, Mail Money Secrets is only two and a half, three months old, whatever the case may be. So it's not a popular company. There are not thousands and thousands of people who will know about Mail Money Secrets who are coming to YouTube to look it up to find out more information about the program, okay? So that's one of the reasons why my views are so low. Now, what that means is two things. First of all, I have already made sales of the Mail Money Secrets business through my YouTube videos, right? Naturally speaking, otherwise, um, you know, you would wonder why am I spending so much time or putting so much effort to put videos here about mail money secrets unless there's some type of potential for me to find new people um, who might be interested in this program through the YouTube platform. Uh, one thing I can also tell you is that there are other people on YouTube who are involved in other business opportunities or who have in the past and they may find my video because YouTube recommends it to them. And so basically, I don't know who these people are. I may not know who they are, but YouTube knows who they are and YouTube is going to help by sharing my video with those uh, people. Now, the only thing about YouTube sharing my video with people on YouTube or just posting the standard video is that I don't have any control over how many people watch my video. As you can see here, I have 56 views of this video in the past two days. And let's go back for something that's a little bit older. So today is the 13th. Let's look for something from like last month that's about a month old. All right. So let's use let's use this video. Perfect example. OK, uh, crazy cash. Oh, no, no. This is going too far back. Hang on one second. All right, let's let's look at the um, May 20th video. All right, so it's been about one month since I posted this video and I only have 158 views, 158 views. Now, if it was up to me, I wish I could have 15,000 views on this video, right? I wish there was a way that I can just turn it on and said, hey, listen, I want more people to watch my video. But unfortunately, the way it works with YouTube, YouTube doesn't let you decide how many views your video get based on how many views you want unless you do one thing and that's where we're going to transition in this video and talk about what that one thing is so let's move on to the next part so there's two different ways to run ads with with google or with youtube um, for those of you who know you may or may not know that youtube is a separate company from google however google does now own youtube and google is the advertising platform that allows you to promote videos on youtube so there's two different ways, two different places that you can do paid advertisements that I'm going to talk about that I've used in the past. And I'm going to show them to you in this video here. So for most people, you use different search engines whenever you want to look something up online. You might use uh, Google. People used to use Yahoo or you might use Bing. Those are some of the common ones. But in this case of Google, I just want to show you an example of what happens if somebody today receives a postcard in the mail about mail money secrets and says, OK, I don't know if this is legitimate or if this is a scam. So I want to do some research online because I don't know anyone personally who I can ask. Let me go see if anyone has reported this company to be legitimate or a scam. So they'll come here to Google and they'll type in mail money secrets. And if they're smart, they might even type in review mail money secrets review. And the reason is because mail money secrets might not be specific enough. But if you're looking for a review to see if anyone has done a review of the company, They'll type in a keyword phrase such as this. So mail money secrets review. Let's go ahead and find out together what we get when we search this on google.com. All right. So there's no surprise that you're going to see some videos because videos is the preferred form of content for people because they get to just listen. It's like the easy way to get information in comparison to having to read everything word for word. So the first thing that you get here is three different videos, which I'm sure you may recognize if you're somebody on my channel. Uh, you can see the thumbnails here. So it says Mail Money Secrets Review. Mail Money Secrets Review. Top 10 Reasons. Okay, so these are my videos. I'm not going to click on here. I can show you that it's going to show more videos, but you get the idea. A person will click, uh, will go to you, uh, Google, search in Mail Money Secrets Reviews, and they're going to pull up my videos. 
After my videos, they're going to pull up a web page for Amazon where the Mail Money Secrets book is available for sale. And then let's see here. There's just a couple of other links. Okay. So this is one thing that people do. So the ideal thing that you want, of course, is you, you would love to, you know, have your business on Google to the point when a person searches up something relevant to what products you have, you sell or what your company's about. Wouldn't you like to be the first person that a person sees when they get the results? Absolutely. All right, so now that we're at this point, let me go ahead and click the view all and see what just happens when I do that. So when you click view all, which a lot of people would do, you'll see all these videos that get posted here. As you know, I have a theme of the yellow, red, and blue, and all they do is get a constant list of videos from me over and over and over again. And then you're gonna start seeing some videos from a couple of other people who have videos in the program. Uh, but this is generally speaking how it works on the Google side of things. Now, um, I'm not going to mention it here, but remember just a couple of moments back where I was showing you an ad on YouTube for uh, advanced auto parts and for Amazon. So you can also run those type of ads here on Google. But currently there's nobody running any ads for mail money secrets on Google. So now with that being said, move on to the next phase. Let's go over to the YouTube side of things and let's let's type in mail money secrets on youtube all right let me take you to the to the home page first and let me type in mail money secrets and let's go ahead and click enter and see what we get all right so the first thing you get at the top of the page is an ad now i can tell you for a fact that as you can see here this is an ad for shopify that business uh, shopify.com it has absolutely nothing to do with mail money secrets mail money secrets the only thing it has to do with mail money secrets is the fact that shopify offers a platform for people to take credit card payments and to sell stuff right uh, other than that it's not directly to mail money secrets whatsoever but anyhow that's an ad right so you can see how this place is using this ad space to get people to see and hear about them so let's say you never heard of Shopify before, but one day you hear about Mail Money Secrets and you said, I want to go to YouTube and look up Mail Money Secrets. So you do what I just did. You type in Mail Money Secrets and now you have this thing here for an ad for a company called Shopify. And you're like, what's Shopify? So you don't know what it is, but now maybe you've had your very first experience or very first interaction with the name Shopify. So you might hear about it again later, but you see, this is how Shopify as a business is utilizing YouTube to promote their company so that more people can find out about them and know about the different services that they offer, right? Just had to mention that. So as we scroll down here, the first thing you see of the true results for Mail Money Secrets is my channel. Now, this is strategic, meaning that I purposely have it set up this way so that people can find me if they came to YouTube and typed in Mail Money Secrets and the evidence is just clear as you can see right here. I mean, you can go ahead and try this on your end you can try this on your mobile device, on your tablets, or your computer. Type in Mail Money Secrets on YouTube and see if my channel appears like this. It may, it may not. More than likely, it will. But do it just to confirm what it is that I'm showing here on my end. And as you continue to scroll down, you'll see that the top video, the first video, is the video that I've done most recently, prior to the one I'm making right now, right now talking to you, which was one day ago with the 56 views. Okay? Mail Money Secrets. So the first thing people are going to see when they come to YouTube is my face, my channel, and my videos combined. So you're going to continue to scroll down the page here. You'll see some other people here involved with the program. Just keep scrolling down and then you'll start to see other things and eventually it will drift off until there's no more videos. But like I said, uh, this is not difficult. This is the easy part, right? This is the easy part. The difficult part comes in how are we going to increase the amount of views that we get? So let's go ahead and go back to the other page. Let's go back to my channel so I can show you again uh, what I wanted to show you from my back office. And um, then we're going to talk about YouTube ads. And I think we're getting close enough to the point where I can make my point and we can finish out this video. So let me move this back up here. Okay. So now with that being said, like I said, you can see that my videos are showing on YouTube and people are seeing them. The only thing is I cannot control how many views I get if I just post these videos for free. There's only one way, well, there's a couple of different ways, but there's only one way that I'm gonna be focusing my energy on to increase the views of my videos. Now there's two different ways I can do it, but re the reality is 
we're going to talk about the best way to do it and that's with youtube ads now like i said there's several different youtube uh several different styles of youtube ads but the style of youtube ads we're going to be using is the one where you're watching a video and you have an advertisement that plays and interrupts the video right well, let me do that in a second but anyway so uh, so now i just want to uh, make sure i make this point before we go to the next step as you can see like i said here i have views on my videos but most of them are under 200 views most of these videos as you can see they're under 200 views so what can we do to increase the amount of views on these videos or even one particular video in order to reach more people and that's what we're going to look at right now all right so let's go to my home page here and let's look for a video what i want to do is show you a youtube video in action so i'm going to look for something here that i can click on and okay so let's see what happens there's a video here i've seen in the past already it's about a car it's a 12 minute long video as you can see that was three years three years old let's click on the video and let's see if we get a youtube advertisement to play before I'm able to start watching this video about this Mercedes-Benz hitting speed bumps. Okay, let me click on the video. The Genesis GV7. Okay, so I'm gonna let the video play. And as you can see here, actually, let me stop it. All right, because the right thing to do is not charge a company for an, um, an ad if I don't really have an interest in watching this ad in this case, okay? So as you can see, about five seconds have passed. And now that the five seconds have passed, I have the option to skip this ad. But let's go back and let's just talk about this because this is really where we're going to get into the main part of this video where after I make this point, we're going to be finished with this and then we can end this video and we can continue at some other point with um, the next part. Okay. But this is mostly just like I said, this is an introduction training video to YouTube, how I've used it, how I'm going to be continuing to use it and how I'm going to be able to use it for mail money secrets um, to basically take the business to the next level. So as you can see, I clicked to watch a video called Hitting Speed Bumps with Full Speed in a Mercedes-Benz in slow motion. So when I clicked on the video, instead of the video just playing, what I'm getting is an advertisement for the company called Genesis, and their website is Genesis.com. Genesis is basically the luxury division of the car company most people know as Hyundai, like Hyundai Sonata, Hyundai Elantra, Hyundai Santa Fe, right? That is the parent company for Genesis. So because I'm watching, uh, well, actually, it's not because I'm watching a video about cars, but it kind of tells me for a fact that they're literally just advertising cars over a car video for whatever reason, because I'm not in the market for a luxury vehicle. So there's no particular reason why they should be sharing this advertising with me. So it seems as though it's connected to the fact that uh, because this video is about cars, they're advertising their car, um, their Genesis GV70 or their whole line of vehicles in this advertisement. So let's break down the advertisement. First of all, I can skip this ad, right? So if and when I skip this ad right here because I'm not interested in buying a luxury vehicle right, and I, I know what this advertisement is for, I will skip this ad and guess what happens? Even though this advertisement has appeared on the screen here prior to me watching this video, the company will not have to pay for this little five second advertisement, right? Which lets me see the first five seconds of the video. It lets me see their website address. And even here on the right side of the top screen, it says your Genesis and it also has an advertisement. So as long as I click skip ads, the company is not going to pay for the fact that their ad did appear and play for five seconds. Now, in the event that I, I did want to learn more about this, what I can do is just sit here and let the entire ad play out, which as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that. Um, uh, I'm going to do that because I want to see what ad comes up next. Okay. Um, but if this was something that I was interested in, what I would do is just click on it right here where it says learn now, or I can click over here and it's basically going to take me to the website, genesis.com, where this advertiser wants me to go and see more information about their product, right? That is a YouTube ad. That is a YouTube ad. And I'm only saying it because, you know, obviously if you're watching this, you, you probably know this already, but the point is that you can use these YouTube ads for your small home based business. And if you're not doing that now, that's fine. But uh, there's a good chance that maybe you've seen some other people using YouTube ads to talk about other different ways to make money. And in most cases, those videos are, I would say, annoying. And the only reason why I say that is because they're, they seem so fake in nature, the way that they do these YouTube ads, okay? Um, even though a lot of them are telling true stories, but it, it just doesn't really connect with most people. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's continue this video to see what ad pops up next, to see what topic they're gonna be suggesting for me. All right, uh, I'm hoping it's something different, but let's see what we get. And there's a little timer here that you have to wait about 10 seconds and then it will go ahead to the second ad. So let's see what's up next. All right, so the second ad here is an ad for Google Chrome. So as you can see here now, let's let's pause this here. So now that the ad has changed to a different company and a different promotion, now you see it's Google Chrome. You'll see the address here says google.com. Click here to download. And over here, you see once again, the advertisement has changed, correct? And it says click here to download. Now, um, I could also skip this ad or I can also let it play through. I'm going to let it play, th play through just for the purpose of this video. And mind you, it's kind of interesting how Google owns YouTube, but yet they're still running ads on their own YouTube advertising platform, right? To promote the Google Chrome download. All right, so once the ad is finished, there we go. Now the video starts playing and we're gonna to get to the actual content that we were here for, right? Which is we wanted to see the Mercedes run over speed bumps at full speed. So uh, this is YouTube ads. This is YouTube ads. Now I've used YouTube ads in the past. I can't really go to the whole story on this video, um, but let's just say I had somebody who got jealous of me using YouTube ads and they decided to sabotage my YouTube advertising account. And it was very, very unfortunate. I don't think it's that easy today where somebody can manipulate the system. But back when YouTube was in its early days, there were a lot of holes in the security system. And I had somebody who attacked my YouTube channel and got it shut down because they were jealous. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain to you the reason why that person was jealous. And um, we're going to go to the next phase of this, right? And since I see we're at 47 minutes, I'm going to make sure this video is ended before we reach 60 minutes because I've got the majority of what I wanted to say out of the way. So uh, what that means is, like I said, we just saw two different ads play before I was able to watch this video, right? I could have skipped the ads, but if the advertisements were interesting enough, I would have let the advertisements play the entire way through. And then if I wanted more information, I would have just clicked on it where it says learn now or, you know, go visit the website. So. YouTube ads has been around for a long time. It hasn't always been called YouTube ads, but the story behind it here for me, all right, is that the first time I, I decided to try a YouTube ad, I used it for a company similar to Mail Money Secrets that I was selling a $3,500 product as well as some other products in the, in the different um, cat catalog. And so I ran one of my videos as a YouTube ad. And after only a couple of days of my video being on the platform, running as an, uh, a sponsored advertisement, I received a phone call from somebody who saw my video ad and decided that they wanted to sign up into my business immediately at the $3,500 level. And that was my first experience with YouTube. And unfortunately, like I said, after that story broke that I made $3,500, I really can't remember the details. I just know that somebody was very jealous and they sabotaged my account and got it shut down and basically cut off my ability to continue to use the platform to promote my my YouTube videos. So, um, yeah, it, you know, this stuff happens. But now here we are today. It's 2023. I was able to find out a lot of things to figure out how I can uh, get my YouTube or my ads account reinstated. And I was able to get my account reinstated. And uh, it's a really sad story in one sense, you know, to know that other people can do stuff like that to totally destroy your business. But as you know, it's a part of life. And a lot of times you just have to learn how to recover from these instances. And in some cases, you need to uh, you need to seek professional help from somebody who has expertise in helping you resolve those types of situations. All right. Um, but yes, yeah, so I ran an ad. I want to say it didn't cost me any more than $10 because I know it wasn't like a real amount. Like if I made the $3,500 sale that I made, it wasn't like it took a hundred or 200 or $300 budget in order to make that sale. It was relatively quick and it happened on the cheap side. So it was, it was really, it was amazing. You know, it really was amazing. So that is the paid advertising. That is YouTube ads. That's how it works. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, but the most important thing is you basically need a video that's going to showcase your your product, your company, your service in a way that people are not going to want to skip the ad. And then you're also going to need to have a website where people can go to the website and they can find out more information and they can see some other videos or something there 
where they can go ahead, get all the answers to the questions that they have, and then they can go ahead, sign up, make the purchase. And, um, you know, that's how you find customers. And, and as I said before, as you can see here on the right side of my screen, you'll still see the ad, right? This is interesting, right? Look at how cool this is. The first ad that we just saw that I played from Genesis.com, even though the second ad went to Google, after all those ads finished playing, look at how the, the first ad is still here on the right side of my screen. And remember how I said they did not have to pay for that ad because I skipped, oh, actually, I take that back. I was about to say I skipped the ad, but I didn't. I decided not to skip the ad. But even though we let the ad play and we're just now gonna continue to watch this video, the ad still appears here on the top right hand side of the screen. So this video is 12 minutes long. Even by the time I finish this video and I go all the way to the end, this is going to remain here. So if I wanted to watch the, the ad first, look at that. They're already playing more ads again. Okay. Um, oh, so, so it changes. All right. But this is YouTube ads. So I'm glad this is happening in this video because I get to use this as a real time unplanned example of how even while a person on YouTube is watching one video, they might have more than one ad, which I'm sure you're aware of. They might have more than one ad that comes through throughout the process of watching that video from beginning to end. And I'm going to skip this one, right? Um, that's it. That's pretty much it. So let me go back to my other uh, page on my other YouTube. And this is where I'm going to finish up this video with my final thoughts. So my final thoughts are, as I said before, in the example where I showed you that my sponsor has advertisements that said, matter of fact, I really do want to show you that. So let me see if I can go back into my email. Um, Let's see here. I know it's in one of my other email accounts. So let's see if I can go back to this one here. I think it's closest. There we go. So how, you know, how a book generated $20,000 cash to me in six days, right? So first of all, like I said, this is a true story. And if we use the most simple example in terms of math, it basically means that my sponsor, Lon, had 20 people that signed up for Mail Money Secrets for him and decided that they wanted to do the upgrade to the thousand dollar level so he made twenty thousand dollars in a six day time period um but more than likely the reason why it was six days is because these people were his warm market they were already familiar with him they liked him they trusted him and they were ready to make that move very fast okay they had the money on hand as well it's also important to have people in your in your list that can afford to purchase the different products and the items that you're looking for um that you're offering and so for you, if you're a person who's getting into any program, or in this case, Mail Money Secrets, if you want to make money like $20,000 cash in six days, well, you're going to have to tell more people about it, right? So in my case, I'll give you some examples here. I'm looking at my list here of the people who I have on the team with Mail Money Secrets. And as of this week, I think Monday or Tuesday, I received my 25th order. So I have 20 people that have 25 people, 25th order. I have 25 people who have ordered the Mail Money Secrets book, which means that theoretically speaking, I've sold 25 books and there is a potential chance for 25 people to do the upgrade and purchase at the very minimum the $1,000 package from me, right? So if you're somebody here that's going to be doing the Mail Money Secrets program and you want to have 25 sales like I have, you basically just have to decide where do you want to do your advertising? Do you want to do it through postcards? Do you want to do it through flyers? Or do you want to do it online in a place like YouTube ads? So I guess the last thing I should mention is that I started saying in the beginning of this video that if you were to mail out flyers, right? Once again, let's show the flyer. If you wanted to mail out flyers like this, it's going to cost you the price of a stamp to send out one. So you can decide if you want to either use direct mail and go that route with those expenses, which is basically, like I said, it will cost you about a thousand dollars to mail out a thousand pieces or one dollar per piece, right? That's what your budget is going to be. You can send out a thousand that way, or you can also consider your other alternative ways of you doing advertising, which would be to use YouTube ads. Now I can't give you exactly how much YouTube ads cost here, but I will give an example on how we're going to start using YouTube ads here in my house. So YouTube ads, you can run ads for $20 a day, $30 a day. Let's say $20 a day. And uh, that's about, let's see, seven days, seven times two is 14. So that's about $140 a week. That's, that's not bad. Like some people can afford that. If you have some money put aside, 
you can afford $140 a week. Now, matter of fact, you can run YouTube ads for less than that, maybe $10 a day. But obviously, the more money that you can put per day, the more times YouTube is going to continue to show your ad, which means the more people are going to see your ad, which is basically what we want in the end, right? We want as many people to see our ad as possible. And so the good news is for you, if you are somebody who's either on board with the YouTube advertising already because you reached out to me and said that you're about to register for the YouTube ads um, team for a thousand dollars for the doing a thousand dollar upgrade, then, you know, this is for you. Uh, you're going to be able to use my video for YouTube ads. Not only that, I'm going to manage it and everything through my account. And then the same way I've made this video here, I'll be able to make other videos or help you over the phone one on one to show you how that you can use any of my videos to promote Mail Money Secrets or any one of these types of programs on YouTube. And you don't have to become a YouTuber, right? Um, you just don't. You can have videos that go there that explain things or or that will get people to go to your website that you don't actually have to create. But the good news is since I'm so familiar with videos, since I have so much fun and um, you know practicing YouTube and, and making videos and all that type of stuff, you can utilize me as the person to be kind of like the face of your advertising. And basically I can get people to come in to the website, put their name and email address, go to watch some videos and then decide if they want to join our program. Um, I will be the actual person to run these YouTube video ads for you. So you don't have to become a YouTube video uh, marketer like I am. I'm already doing it and I'm offering this as a service to people. And it's not going to be like I'm going to have 100 or 200 or 300 people who are going to take the service. It might just be a few. But I, like I said, I've already spoke to a few people that have agreed that this is something that they're interested in. So I wanted to make this video today to share with everyone. Uh, it's going to serve two purposes for me. It's going to sh I can share this with people who are subscribers, people who are the ones who are about to do the upgrade to a thousand dollar level. And this is also for people that are coming here that are considering mail money secrets and may want to have, you know, a little bit more information as to what's possible with this program. And then last but not least, once I saw this email came through this morning about how a book generated $20,000 cash in six days, I just wanted to explain to people who are in mail money secrets. Um, or watching my videos, how this happened and how this is true. The only downside to this is that, like I said, most people, if they read a headline like that, they're not going to believe it because they know like really $20,000 in six days sounds like a little bit of, um, uh, you know, sounds like somebody's exaggerating. But the truth is, yes, $20,000 did happen in six days. But the only thing that most people wouldn't know just from reading that is that the person who had that type of experience in Mail Money Secrets has probably been involved with the, the company in general for quite a bit of time. And they also have a contact list of, you know, let's just say thousands of people, probably hundreds or thousands of people. And so once they sent out their original message to let people know that there was a new program called Mail Money Secrets, they had people who said, listen, I know who this guy is. I know I can trust him. I know if he's recommending it, it must be something good. Let me take a look at it. And once they saw how everything worked, they decided to go ahead and do some upgrades and it brought in $20,000 in revenue in six days. And that's it. I don't know what happened after that. I'm sure there's another story. I have yet to see some type of update as to what happened in phase two, but I can clearly see in phase one, he's using the storyline of $20,000 cash in six days. So I hope that answers some questions for people who are going to watch this video. Hopefully I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. But I wanted to do this before I really start the YouTube ads, because if there's anybody else who's considering jumping on board with us with the YouTube ads, I wanted to show a clear example of how it's going to work. And this is the first video in doing that. Thank you for watching. Any questions, leave them below and I'll see you in the next video.